Hey guys, and welcome back to another video here on Ramon's World. Before I begin, if you're new here, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button down below. Share this video with your friends, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you do plan on subscribing, welcome to the family. If you're a returning subscriber, if you haven't already, please don't be afraid to hit the notification bell down below so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. Today's video is going to be another tag video. I'm gonna call it a haul video, it's a tag video, but I'm gonna call it a haul just cause I like the sound of it better and it kind of makes me like, sound like a fashion YouTuber. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing what's in my closet haul or tag or whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into the video. So the first piece, I'm not gonna go in any particular order like based off of winter seasons and whatever else like no it's just gonna be whatever's here i'm gonna pick up i'm gonna do a you know where i got it from all that type of stuff from so yeah no particular order um the first thing that i'm gonna be showing you guys is this shirt that i got from forever 21 i don't know if you can see it i don't know if it's in the shot or not but i got it from forever 21 um it's a plain white t-shirt size probably large yeah large i wear a size large and it has like this little rose embellishment on it so I thought that was really cool, really cute detail. Um, got it from Forever 21. Literally, I mean, I get a lot of things from Forever 21, so you can get a lot of Forever 21 tees in this video. So um, yeah, crucify me. I should probably start with what I have on. That probably makes more sense. Um, but that was the first piece. And then what I have on here, long sleeve t-shirt um, from Forever 21. Uh, this is also from Forever 21. This choker is killing me. Now that I think about it, I do own another choker for men. As a matter of fact, it does not choke me, so Hold that thought. That's better. Um, yeah. So I got this choker from ASOS. This one's from ASOS. Uh, I love ASOS a lot. Like I own like three of their magazines. It's really cool. <clears throat> um, like them a lot. But the other choker that I just took off, I got from Forever 21. I have a ton of hats. Um, I guess I should go into detail on the hats. The first hat that I'm going to be talking about is going to be this like white hat that I got from Forever 21. Of course, per usual. Uh, it's really dirty on the inside, y'all. Like I don't do white hats anymore. I gave my other white hat away. But um, I'll never do a white hat again, but just because of how dirty it got, I just don't, mm -mm. whenever I wear it, I feel dirty. And then it's just strap back. I don't like Velcro strap backs or like any kind of a strap back. I'll never do a white hat again, but this one is like, it's really cute. It's got the little uh, like rings um, on the inside. I thought it was really cute. So I got it, it's simple, basic. Um, I have a friend named Krev, who I'll mention in this video, keep, keep watching. I have a friend named Krev. I was gonna have him like design it, put his like signature patch or I don't know if it's his signature patch, but he has a patch that he made for himself, like he made himself. And I was gonna put, have him do that on the front and distress it a little bit and splatter paint it and all types of things, but we never got that far before he moved to LA. But, um, which shout out to Kev if you're watching this. But yeah, this is, I mean, it used to be one of my favorite hats. I used to wear it all the time, but you know, it's just dingy. I don't, I don't know. I got this one from, I think Urban Outfitters. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Urban Outfitters or Forever 21. But it's a it's a pink hat and it's like suede and it has this this like cup of noodles with chopsticks. I thought it was really cute. Um, uh, this is a problem for me. <laughs> I don't know, like I don't know if that bothers anybody else, but that is a problem for me. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I still wear it from time to time. I don't really wear hats too much because you know. I don't like for my hair to get matted down and I'm gonna be doing something to my hair, hair but I haven't been buying too many hats so yeah but this is another one of my hats um, love it a lot this one is probably my second favorite hat I'll get to my first favorite in a second when I show you the first favorite like you guys are gonna be like like bitch what the fuck but um this one I got from ASOS and funny story behind this hat it's a Puma hat I got it from ASOS um I had to stitch it back up <laughs> yeah or not, I didn't have to stitch it back up, but Krev stitched it back up for me because Yanni, if you're watching this, yes, I'm gonna call you out. Um, she ran up behind me and she like pulled on my hat like I was a female with a wig on and she pulled on my hat and it, it snapped. And I wanted to beat that bitch up, but I didn't I didn't beat that bitch up. Um, I don't fight females, I don't fight at all, let me not. Anyway, um, I wanted to beat her up and I didn't do it, but I was like, mm, I'll stitch it back up. I was really upset with her. This is one of my favorite hats, and I would still wear this to this day if I didn't have this. But I'd be, I'd be so scared that I'll wear it out in public, you know, and it'll, like, snap. And I'll be walking around with matted hair. <sighs> I only wear this in pictures now. Anyway, and this one's another one that I got from ASOS. It's, um, hype. It's a hype official 
Hype Official. That's their, that's their Instagram name. It's a Hype hat. Uh, that's the name of the brand. Hype or Just Hype or something like that. Yeah, Just Hype. Um, really cool hat. Simple. It says Hype on it. I thought it was cute. Bought it. You know, that whole song and dance. Really cool hat. This one's one that I got from Amazon. Also a strap back. I didn't know it was a strap back when I bought it. I should pay attention to the details, but uh, this is one that I got from Amazon. It has it says youth on it. I also have a light pink one and a white one, but the white one I gave to Kyla. Well, Kyla stole it from me. Then she got makeup on the inside of like the brim. So I let her keep it. Um, <clears throat> makeup and hair dye. Oh my god. Anyway, um, let her keep that one. And then this I kept and I gave the other pink one, the light pink one, about the same color as the noodle hat. I gave that one to my sister, but this one's the one that I kept. I ordered three of them. They were like $3 each, so I mean, I figured, why not just give them away? You know, I'm not gonna wear all three of them, whatever. And they're strap backs. Uh-uh, I don't do those, not anymore. Um, but this one, I mean, I'll make an exception because I like it a lot. It's really cool, and it's simple. Like, it just says youth. And I actually, I got this when I was on my, like, Troy Sivan binge or whatever you want to call it. Like, I was really feeling Troy Sivan's music and his, like, whole vibe, so I got this. Instead of having to purchase that really expensive merch, <clears throat> no tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. This is my last hat, my favorite hat. Y'all are gonna laugh at me. Like, look at this. I mean, I guess from a distance, <laughs> from a distance, it doesn't look that bad, but like, let me give y'all a close up. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this madness? Look at this, this is ridiculous. And then the back is really like dirty and grimy. And the inside, y'all, is so nasty. I used to wear this all the time and never take, took it off. But I'm gonna order another one of these because this hat is really durable and it was so nice. It was so nice. And gray is my favorite color. <sighs> I still wear it from time to time, not even gonna lie. I still wear it from time to time, but only in the house because it looks so dirty. And, mm -mm. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, this is one of them. My last one anyway, so yeah, my favorite also. The next article of clothing is something that I got. I don't know why I got it. Honestly, probably the worst purchase that I ever made, but it is kind of cute. I mean, it's kind of cute and it's comfortable. Like it really is cozy, you know? I got this poncho. <clears throat> y'all, when I tell you, when I tell y'all, I don't know what I was thinking. I was just such a weirdo. Like I used to be so weird. And I just bought it in 2016. Like this was only, t uh, what, two years ago now? So, mm. yikes. But I mean, it is cozy and I, I I haven't worn it in forever, but now that I'm looking at it and I realize I remember how cozy it was, like I'll probably wear it on like really cold nights. But that's probably all it's good for. I would never wear this like as an outfit. And I would I would put this on, but then they'll turn this into a try-on haul. I'm not about to do all that. Mm -mm, not all these damn clothes. I'm not gonna try them all on. Man, my Pam, you're not gonna catch me. The next article of clothing I have <coughs> is are these windbreakers. <laughs> is these windbreak are these windbreakers that I got from Urban Outfitters a while ago. Um they're really cool. There's like pale pink. They go with I mean, they're not necessarily, they don't necessarily go with, but they they kind of match in color to this Puma hat. So if I ever had, well, if this wasn't ripped first and foremost, yes, I'm adding you, Yanni. If, those, if that hat wasn't ripped or whatever, and I wasn't afraid to wear it, like I would wear this with like a tank top and some like white Pumas, you know, uh, cause they do have like a little white trim along the side or whatever. Um, with like some white pumas and stuff and I'll probably go jogging in them. I know I went jogging in these the other day, but they're really cool. Um, and they have like a pocket in the back and all that good stuff. So it's really cool. And they've got like pockets on the side, um, net it on the inside, I guess for sweat, uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, really cool. They're really breathable. So whenever I'm out and it's hot as hell, I think that's what the net's for. They make them really breathable and like it just works. So. Yeah, uh, really cool pair of pants. Like them a lot. I got them from Urban Outfitters. I don't know if they still sell them or not, but yeah, I got them in store, so I cannot tell you. I'll find a link and put it down there because I, I, that's a lie. That is a lie. Okay. Next article of clothing that I have, <laughs> you know, I had to I had to do this one. I just I have been looking for a, a pair of shorts like this for forever, for reasons that I'm not going to go into detail for on camera. But I have been looking for a pair of shorts like these, and I I got them. I call them the ho shorts. <laughs> I got them from Forever 21. Um, 
size large. You know, I probably should have got a size extra large. <laughs> size large. And I got a Purpose Mini one. They're really cool. I very rarely wear them unless I'm not gonna talk, talk about it. But um, I wear them from time to time. I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> They're cool. I like them. Next. The next article of clothing that I'm gonna be talking about, um, something I got like two years ago. And they're really cool. Um, I just, they're loungy. I wear them to lounge. I have a lot of lounge clothing. These lounge pants, these lounge shorts, got them for, for, from Forever 21 forever ago. Um, and yes, they did come with holes in them. And you know, they, they're durable. They're really durable. They're really comfortable. Um, they are getting a little dingy, I noticed, but it's gray. So I guess dingy doesn't really matter. Uh, I mean, they're really cool. And they used to have um, these like gold rings around the the little part where you, you know, pull out or whatever. They had these like gold rings around them that were really cool detail, but they both fell off. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. I think it's just cheap, but yep. Got them for, for, from Forever 21. Uh, really cool. I love them a lot. I'll just, I'll have these forever probably. Like if the universe allows it, I will have these forever until I die. So yeah. Next article of clothing, something that I got a long time ago. Um, my mom, she was in like Marshalls. I was like maybe 12 or 13 when she got this and they were having like sales or something. I think it was around the Christmas holiday sales or whatever. And she was like, yeah, you, you need more clothes. And I was like, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. um, got it from Marshalls. It's just, it says, I'm just gonna nod my head and act like I'm listening. I think that's what it says. Yeah, it's like a graphic t-shirt. Um, I wear this if there's nothing else to wear and I'm in the house and I'm just chilling. You know, I never really wear this in public. Do I? I don't ever really wear this in public um, unless I like I'm sitting in my bed and I'm bumming it out and I just feel like going to like Subway to get some food and I just and I have this on already I'll be like whatever you know whatever um, but yeah don't really wear this too much it's just in my closet collecting dust next thing I'm gonna pull up I think I got when I was like 14 or 15 um, when I really wanted to be like a skater y'all I'm telling you I have so many phases of life but I wanted to be like a skater so bad um, no, it's not a Thrasher shirt. I just was experimenting with a lot of colors and a lot of crazy patterns. When I say patterns, I don't mean this. I mean this. And the sleeves. And... Hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> moving on from that, I have this next thing that I got from Herbert 21, literally probably about a month ago, a month or so ago. Uh, it's a really cool knitted long sleeve shirt it's not ironed i don't think any none of these clothes are actually ironed what am i talking about um it's a knitted long sleeve t-shirt and the only thing i don't like about it is that it doesn't really have like a finish on the end like this one you know where they kind of seal it up and seam it and stuff like that it does not have a seam at all which i think is the point it's the point but like it frays you know when i buy clothes i don't want it to fray you know i mean i guess it's cute for style purposes but it frays and it just like like, look at this it's already fraying i don't appreciate that at all but i mean it's a cute it's a cute top i like it i like it yeah it's cool got it from forever 21 you know i think they might still have this in some of them because it was really not long ago at all when i got this shirt so they might still have this shirt in some forever 21 it's just on clearance for like five dollars or something but yeah moving on the next shirt that i had in my closet was actually my graduation shirt um, it has my name on it, my, my real name, Ramon is my middle name. My real name is Darius, my first name anyway, is Darius and it has that on the back because I was a, um, a library aide and this was only for library aides. Didn't have anything to do with library aides but my, my um, the librarian, which was actually the teacher because that was considered a class, um, you got like an actual credit for taking it and everything like that. Um, so my teacher, for the class, which really was the librarian. Um, she had all these shirts made and they were custom made with like our names on the back and our size and stuff like that. And it says, hashtag done 2016, drop the mic because I'm high school class 2016. Yeah. And um, I mean, yeah, it's cool. I don't really care too much for the green, um, but you know, I very, very, very rarely wear this, but I do keep it and I'm gonna keep it forever because she did put a lot of energy into it. And I think we paid for them, if I'm not mistaken. I think we paid for them. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is cool. I like it a lot. Miss Sampson, if you're watching this, mwah, love you, love you to pieces. Really cool, um, but that's it. Yeah. The next article of clothing 
I got from Fashion Nova and I'm really pissed about it. I got this from Fashion Nova and it's, it is um, a cardigan and it has like the thumb holes in it. So like you put your finger, your hand in it or whatever and it, you put your thumb through the thing. I'm not gonna try this thing on y'all. It got like the thumb holes and stuff in it and it's real cute, whatever. You look at it now and you, you see it, you know, and it's like, mm, this is not ugly. This is real cute, mm -hmm. especially when you see it on the site, it's looking real good, um, but it's cheap. Okay, if y'all gonna charge, hold on, y'all look, this is too much, this is too much. If we're gonna charge $30 for a cardigan, I want it to be a quality cardigan, okay? You see this? It's not inside out, like, I'm telling y'all, this shirt is not inside out, right? So you see the hood, you see the hood, it's got the seam on the hood and everything like that, the tag is on the inside and everything. Why is the seam on the inside instead of the outside? That's where the seam is, that's the inside of the jacket. This is the outside. Why does it look like that? So, and just in case you don't believe me, and I'm not trying to dog fashion over, even though I am kind of dogging fashion over, if you don't believe me, look, there's there's the little part, the little outside, the inside seam that's on the outside, and here is the outside seam on the actual outside. And on top of that, it has pockets on it, but the pockets have torn, like, all I, all I put in my pockets are keys and my cell phone from time to time, and it's torn. Like, if you don't want somebody putting your, their keys in the cell phone in the pocket, then say that. And shit, what the fuck kind of pocket can you not put keys and cell phones in? I just don't understand. Anyway, it's torn on both sides. Both pockets, they're torn on. So, not the I'm not the happiest consumer when it comes to this piece, but, I mean, it's cute, and I still wear it from time to time. So you know, take it with a grain of salt. The next piece um, I'm gonna be talking about, I got these from ASOS. Um, so they're just regular old long johns. Uh, I sometimes wear in a bit. I don't, I try not to wear these out because they don't have pockets on them and they're really inconvenient, but they're not supposed to have pockets on them, they're long johns. So it's not something that you wear out, it's really something that you wear to the gym or like lounging and stuff like that around the house, all that good stuff. So yeah, um, size large, of course, everything is size large, large pants, or large, large long johns, long, large shirts, all that type of stuff, so, yeah, cool investment. The next thing, the next article of clothing I'm gonna pull up is this uh, parka that I got, I think from Forever 21, yeah, Forever 21, it's a parka, really cool, um, I guess I can stand up. It has this little fish tail in the back, and has pockets on the outside. It does not have any pockets on the inside, which bothered me a little, but I mean, whatever, right? Um, and it has the little tie string, you know, the string, the drawstring, that's what it's called, drawstring, in case, you know, you wanna cover your face and stuff like that if it's raining. Um, and it's like long and cool. It has like the buttons on the side here and all that stuff. So yeah, I got it from Forever 21. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was like, <clears throat> oh Jesus, what was that? I think it was like $30, $37. I can't remember, it was so long ago that when I bought it, but I don't even remember how much I paid for it, but it was at Forever 21. They probably do not carry this anymore. It was like two years ago when I got it. So yeah, um, there's that. The next article of clothing, they probably still do carry because I just got this like a month or so ago. Um, I think right before New Year's Eve, I got this. With a, uh, with a gift, a gift card that I got for Christmas, a Forever 21 gift card that I got for Christmas. I bought this. It's a bomber. I love it. I've been looking for a really good bomber, and I found it. It's perfect. Like it has the pocket on the sleeve. It's not a deep pocket, but it's for something like like gum or your keys or something like that, so that they're not falling. But um, really convenient. I loved it a lot. This choker is moving everywhere. It also has um, pockets on the sides, obviously. It's a bomber. Po bombers typically have pockets on the sides. And it has a pocket on the inside. What is this in here? Ooh, let me find out. I gotta know. This stuff is really, really, um, you can carry a lot in it, but it's obviously gonna weigh you down. But it's really cute. Um, I like the color. It's like an army green, and it has like a sheen on it. Yeah, it's really cool. Like it'll buy. It's probably my favorite jacket in my closet right now. So, yeah, next. Um, the next shirt that I have is a shirt that I got from Zara. It's uh, just a regular t-shirt. Um, I don't wear it out. I mean, I typically white t-shirts. I try not to wear out because they get dingy. I know that there's 
one white shirt. I think the white shirt, the first white shirt that I showed you guys, it hasn't really gotten dingy yet, but this one, on the other hand, has gotten really dingy. It has like the little sweat stains because I worked out in it before and it just it hasn't been the same since. Anyway, it's a shirt and it says no problems. It's a, it's a graphic t-shirt. Um, just says no problems. It's from Zara, of course. Um, simple, I mean, simple stuff, you know, not, not too out there, you know. Okay, the next shirt that I'm gonna be talking about is a shirt that I got from the outlet malls, <clears throat> Tanger Outlets, and it's a Levi shirt. And it was forever ago, actually, fun fact. <laughs> Should I say this? <laughs> Should I say this? I'm gonna say and think later on on whether or not I should keep this in the video, but this is the shirt that I, yeah, got this when I was probably like 13 years old. Um, who knew I would be? Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, next. The next shirt I have is a shirt that I also got when I was probably like 13 years old from I think like Ross or Macy's or wherever my mom went shopping back then. I never shopped for myself until I was like 15, 16. I would tell mom stuff that I wanted to get or I would just use birthday money and like Christmas money to get clothes offline or whatever the case, but for a lot of this stuff, it's stuff that my mom, well, not necessarily a lot of it, but a huge portion of it, or not a huge portion, a pretty good chunk of it is stuff that my mom got me. Um, I actually liked it though when I was younger. It's uh, a shirt, it's a graphic t-shirt. It says, are you kidding me with one of these like old school memes? I don't know how this hole got in it, but that was not there initially. I don't remember what I did to get a hole in it. I was probably outside playing, and it it really was not initially a crop top either. Um, it had a huge hole in the center of it, so I just kind of ripped it open and I cut it up a little bit, and it looks really janky and disgusting. I never wear it, but I made a crop top out of it, and I sometimes, I mean, well, no, I wear it sometimes in the house because of how bad this cut job is, but um, yeah, made a crop top out of it, and it's really cool. So yeah, you're gonna find a lot of makeshift things in this wardrobe because what the hell is this oh these oh no these are some khakis from my school uniform from high school no man not mm -mm. next this next shirt I got from ASO it's a long line long sleeve khaki green t-shirt um, it almost looks like a dress y'all it really almost looks like a dress if it didn't have this little like drop part in the back then it would probably pass for a dress but it's really cool i like it i don't really wear it too much i don't know why i don't know why i don't wear this like that but i really like the shirt a lot and um it has little thumb slits in it like the sweater it has thumb slits in it so it's really cool i got it from asos y'all like i love asos the link to that website will be the link to that website will be in the description below um really cool check them out Got some really nice styles on there if you guys are into like streetwear and uh, I mean I even just streetwear. Check them out. You, you gotta you gotta check those out. Check them out before you can listen to me. What I'm onward we move. Um, the next article of clothing I have is gonna be <coughs> a sweater that I got from Forever Twenty One forever ago, and surprisingly it's still pretty white. I mean you can I mean it's getting dingy, but you know it's still pretty white considering. What is this? See. I, I jinxed myself. I don't know what that is. This little yellow mark, but it's on there, girl, and it's not coming out. I already know, because it just looked like it's a part of it. Anyway, basic white tee, white sweatshirt. It just says nope. Um, I wear this ever so often. Um, yeah, I mean, what else is there to say about that, right? This is another one of those things that I got <clears throat> from my mom when I thought I was a skater, it was like, it's, it's DC shoes. I think I probably had this since I was 12 years old and can still fit it, like that's a problem. Oh my God, yeah, that is huge, a huge problem because I can't even see where it's from. It's probably from Ross or like TJ Maxx, Marshall, somewhere like that. Um, But yeah, oh my God, y'all, look, it got a hole in it. I didn't even know that. It has a hole in it. Y'all, see, this is ridiculous. Next, the next article of clothing that I have is from my high school. <clears throat> y'all, give me a minute next article of clothing I have is from my high school. Um, I was in marching band for two years against my will. I swear to God, it was against my will. Because I didn't want to do gym twice. And they put me in gym twice. And I was like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Like, I don't do gym. I've already had gym. So they was like, oh, we're going to switch you for another elective. I was like, put me in art. Bitch, they put me in damn marching band. Like, what the fuck? Don't you got to sign up for marching band? Anyway, this is a marching band shirt. It says, Love Joy Marching um, Wildcats which was our mascot, Lovejoy Marching Wildcats. And on the back it says, true legends never die. So Wildcats are, are immortal. 
So, <clears throat> anyway, um, this next shirt I think is really cute to an extent, but I don't ever wear it anymore. Um, I, again, another thing that I got when I wanted to be like a skater. And it is a long line t-shirt with like roses and little plant stems and stuff like that. It's an extra large. Oh, you know what? Because I was into the oversized clothing and stuff. Yeah. I got this from PacSun. Um, it's an extra large t-shirt. Uh, I just, I wore it everywhere, y'all. Like, I can't, what else is there to say? I wore it everywhere. I still like the shirt. It's really cool. But moving right along. Next shirt is something that I got off the Adidas website. It is something that I work out in. It's called um, Adidas Tech Fit Compression. So it's one of these compression shirts and it's really tight and it's really breathable. Um, I just, it's a workout shirt and I have the shorts to go with them, I guess, the tights to go with them. They come right down to like right above the knee and they're really tight. They're compression like this too. Um, but I don't know where they are. I have not been able to find those things in forever. Yeah, but like, yep, yeah, this these are, you know, really cool. It says climate. So yeah, I'm assuming that's why this, it has like the little, uh, Perforations on the side, that's the word. Perforations on the side, like under the arm. So that is really breathable and you know, you're not like overly sweating in them. Um, so yeah, really cool, really good investment. I got it from Adidas. I think the whole set was like $60. Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I think it was like $60. Um, I think they still have that on the website. If you go check Adidas and you look at like, well, Adidas really is active wear, just active wear typically, but um, it should still be on there if you can find it. I don't know. I got it like a year and a half, two years ago. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, really cool investment. I like it a lot. So yeah, check it out. The next article of clothing that I'm going to be talking about is a pair of jeans, finally, y'all. A pair of jeans. One of these jeans that I got from Forever 21. A simple, light blue, denim pair of jeans. You know, I mean, what is there to say? What is there to say? It says premium denim. All right. Yeah. But that's it. They're skinny jeans. Uh, I really only wear skinny or slim fit jeans. Uh, and that's what these are, skinny jeans. So, yeah, that's them. The next article of clothing that I'm going to be going into detail on is this t-shirt that I got for Forever 21 on clearance. It was like $5. And it was, it's a really cool t-shirt. I mean... Just a simple t-shirt, you know, something for if I'm layering some outfits or whatever, you know. Um, it's a regular simple t-shirt. It says 2132132, you know, you know, the whole nine uh, all the way around. And that's literally just the t-shirt is black, as you can tell. Um, really cool t-shirt. I like it a lot. So, yeah. All right, next is this shirt that I got from Forever 21, like, forever ago. Because I know I wore this for New Year's of 2016 going into 2017. And it's just a regular knitted long sleeve shirt um sweater whatever you want to call it it's i mean i like it a lot i really do I like the color it fits perfectly it form fits and it has like a curve hem um curve hem and like a little bit of a dip in the side so it just you know um i really like this shirt a lot and i'll, I'll keep this for a long time until i just can't wear it anymore you know really cool really cool investment i love forever 21 y'all i'm telling you most of my clothes will come from forever 21 after i graduated i realized that i did not like the clothes that were in my wardrobe because in school we had this thing called dress down friday and i would go to school like junior and senior year was when i started hating the clothes that i had so i would go to school and it would be dressed down friday and i would be like i don't care if it's dressed down friday or uniform day bitch because either way i don't like the clothes i'm wearing I don't so um yeah I started trying to revamp my wardrobe so a lot of this stuff is from recent years and from forever 21 because forever 21 is just really cool and I need to start shopping other places and I just I stick usually to forever 21 ASOS H&M's and like Zara Urban Outfitters occasionally I just gotta I gotta start broadening my horizons a little bit so yeah but anyway um this next thing is a sweater that I got a sweater cardigan that I got from Oh, you guessed it, <laughs> Forever 21. It's a size large, um, has pockets and stuff on the sides. Regular, just regular, regular, you know. Nothing fancy about it. I mean, it's cool, you know. You just thought it was cute, so I got it. Next thing I got from ASOS recently, if I can find the link, it'll be in the description below, is probably 
um, out either out of stock or they're like gonna stop carrying it soon because I got it in like I think November. Don't quote me on that. Maybe November or early December. And it's just a regular camel turtleneck, form fitting. It's really long too. It could pass as a dress. So honestly, it really could pass as a dress. Um, it's not a roll neck or anything like that. Anything fancy. It's a regular total turtleneck. Um, it's in the color camel. Like it a lot. It's really cool. So. Yeah, I haven't really worn this too much though. I wore this to a funeral. Wow, that is, that is a bad juju right there. Oh well. Next article of clothing that I'm gonna be talking about is this shirt from DC Shoes. That was probably from Ross or Marshalls or TJ Maxx again when I was 13 and wanted this to be a skateboarder. So this next article of clothing I'm gonna talk about is a pair of jeans that, oh my God, I can't even fit no more. But they're from American Eagle. My mom got these for me when I was like younger. I don't remember how long ago, but um, I was a size 33. Next thing I got is a t-shirt that I got, I think from Ross. From Ross, um, it's a Converse t-shirt. But of course, look at this bad crop job I did again. I mean, this one's on the high side, this one's low. I guess it kind of works because whenever I'm wearing it, it just looks really nice. <sighs> this next article of clothing that I have is from American Eagle. It is a sweater. It's a prep fit sweater, y'all. I don't know whatever that means. Um, V-neck and it has a little American Eagle emblem on the side. Uh, has like the knitted seam on the sleeve. And it's also knitted at the bottom, the base of the sweater. Um, it's very lightweight, so I, de I definitely don't recommend wearing this like in low, low, low degree temperature, like 30s and under, 30 degrees and under, because it's not gonna offer too much like weather protection um next article of clothing i'm gonna be pulling up is something that you guys saw in my vlog this is a sweater that or no a hoodie that i wore in one of my vlogs i don't know what this says i'm starting to feel like this says kill me now or something like like that in hieroglyphics or i don't even know if that's hieroglyphics y'all like let me know if you know what this says or google it or something please because i want to know what this says on the back of my hoodie y'all like for real but i can't i mean i guess it doesn't mean anything bad because it has the peace emblem here um, but I did wear this in a vlog, one of the recent vlogs. It should be popping up, popping up here, uh, in the corner here. And if not, if you don't, for whatever reason, don't have that update, it'll be linked in the description box below, um, the vlog that I'm talking about. But, um, really cool. I mean, I like this. I got it from Forever 21. It is a size medium. When was I bold enough to get a size medium? But it has like a pocket on it, you know what I'm saying? Like a little pocket right there. And short sleeve and it again does not have a seam but that's okay because the seam is right here uh it's not i mean i don't like this hoodie like that anymore y'all but i guess i'll still wear it from time to time i don't know this next article of clothing is going to be a muscle shirt that i got from forever 21 y'all um i mean there it is it's regular schmegalip that good muscle shirt um, i don't know why i have this because i don't wear it and i've never worn muscle shirts in my life actually i wear it from time to time but like, I've never worn muscle shirts in my whole life, so I don't know what possessed me to buy this. These are some hand-me-downs that I got from my granddad. Some, girl, these ain't even Jordans, y'all. These are like some shacks or something. Next article of clothing, I'm not gonna talk too much about that. Um, is another sweater that I got from Forever 21. I know. I got it from Forever 21, y'all. It is just a distressed thing. These, this sweater and then another t-shirt that I'm going to be pulling up later if I if, if it's not stolen by now. Um, I got, they came out around the time Yeezy season two or season one came out. And like, I mean, you know how all his clothes looked ripped and like, like he was a hobo. Um, I like the sweater. It's really warm. I do recommend wearing this in warm weather or in cold weather um, because it does offer a lot of heat protection. If you are able to find it anywhere. This next thing, I don't wear this at all. I got this. I don't know why I got this. I don't know why, it's just a waste of money. Like it looks like the day I bought it. I'm surprised the tag isn't on it. I probably took the tag off to convince myself to keep it. It has the zips on the side. Like if you know me personally and you want this, I'm not gonna charge nobody for these clothes that I'm talking about. Like for real, if you want this, just let me know and I'll give it to you. Um. Now this shirt has hair in it. Huh. This shirt is a shirt that I got from Forever 21. It's probably, probably, I'm gonna go out on a whim now and say this is one of my favorite shirts. Probably my favorite shirt, if not one of my favorite shirts, okay? Um, got it from Forever 21. It's a regular old orange t-shirt. 
and it has the little, well, not even t-shirt really, because it's like, the material is not even tea. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's almost silky, like a satin-ish. You know, I don't recommend wearing this in the, in the cold weather because I tried it once and, um, no ma'am. Um, and it has a little, little, little uh, flowers and greenery foliage down at the bottom. Does not have it on the back, which threw me off. But it has it on the bottom and on the front and stuff. It's real cute. I got the last one in my size from Purpose New One. That was a steal right there, y'all. I don't care if I paid $17 for it. Next, I got this hoodie from Forever 21 very recently because it's, it's probably even still in stock up there if y'all go up there, depending on where you live and the high demand for Forever 21 clothes. Is this man looking at me? Anyway, um, this is a little sweater that I got from Forever 21. It says Humble with the little roses right there. And then on the back, it says Youth of New York, Tokyo, Seoul, Amsterdam, Milan, Los Angeles, Paris, London, Berlin, and Miami. Um, I just thought it was cute and I don't have too many long sleeve hoodies and I've been looking for a long sleeve hoodie for forever. So I wear this a lot in conjunction with my bomber because I just think that look is really cute. So, but yeah, really cool. Um, it also has the drawstrings for the hood, silver detailing on the tips of the drawstrings and a joined um, hood thing. Cause it's not like, it's not like you zip it up. So the little hand rest, the hand warmer thing compartment pouch is like connected so it's not like separated like some hoodies be but anyway this next uh article of clothing that i'm talking i'm gonna be talking about is just a regular um pair of shorts i think i literally probably got these from walmart um yeah just a regular pair of shorts i don't i mean i wear these if i'm lounging around a bit and then like everything else is dirty i wear these i don't like the fact that it's not a drawstring like an, well, an actual drawstring that you can tie up it's just a drawstring, but it's like join like a damn hula hoop. Who wants that? Like that's tacky. That's been pissing me off since I got them. So oh, this next pair of this next article of clothing. This is pissing me off. This choker is moving every which way. Next article of clothing that I'm gonna be talking about is a pair of jeans. Another dark blue washed denim pair of jeans um, that I got from Forever 21. Just a regular old pair of jeans. They're skinny fit, just like the rest of them. Um, so yeah. Moving right along. Now, the next pair, of, the next article of clothing I'm gonna be talking about is another shirt that I got from Forever 21. Um, I actually got this when I watched It, uh, the movie, after I watched It, the movie, because I was looking for a lot of like striped material because I love, hold on, why am I turning sideways? I loved like the attire for the cast of that movie. It was all really like, I mean, obviously it was based in the 80s, the movie was based in the 80s, but I just loved the style and the colors and the, the patterns and all that good stuff. But this I got, it does have little holes in them. Um, I mean, it came like that obviously, but it has holes in it and stuff like that. And even on the bottom there, but it is striped. So sometimes I wear this tucked with like a nice belt. Really cool, you know, t-shirt, regular old t-shirt. This next article of clothing is something that I got from Forever 21 forever ago. And I love it a lot. Honestly, it's probably my favorite t-shirt. And you, when I pull it up, you're gonna be like, why is that your favorite t-shirt? But I'm gonna tell you about that. It is a regular old curved hem, khaki green, not ironed t-shirt with a pocket in it and a short sleeve. And it's so simple, but it embodies my entire wardrobe. I don't know if that's true or not. Okay. Um, it's a curved hem t-shirt and I like it a lot. It makes my body look really like nice and like little, kind of a little bit. I might have just lied, but it looks really nice. And just love the way it fits on me and it's really breathable and it's thin too, y'all. Mm -hmm. Love this, this is my favorite shirt. I don't care what nobody else say. This is my favorite shirt and I'll never give this away. And if it ever gets anything done to it, like if it gets a stain on it or anything, I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna be so pissed, I'm being beyond pissed. Next up is a pair of jeans. Um, regular old pair of jeans, they're blue jeans light blue jeans uh, that i got from forever 21 but they're also a skinny fit and you know cool i mean not too much going on you know is what it is like them a lot what's there what else are there to say next next article of clothing that i'm going to be talking about is a basic um another one of the stripe things i got this not too long after i watched um it when i was feeling stripes for like a week sometimes i wear this tucked in too just to kind of nod my head to the 80s style that inspired me to even get this shirt really simple pale pink t-shirt with the black stripes this next shirt i got from as a christmas gift from my favorite co-worker arguably my favorite co-worker she gave me this shirt it is i think from macy's it's a carbon shirt and how do i have hair everywhere on my clothes 
Like, it's out of control. It's a carbon shirt that I that she got me. I think it's either, I know carbon is on Rue 21 because I have a friend who loves Rue 21. And whenever I'm thinking of a gift for him, like I go in there and I look around and I, all I see is carbon, 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 carbon. I think she got it from Macy's or like one of them stores. Um, but it's really cool, cool, cool. And it's like, it's got a curve hem on it. Um, long line, t-shirt, base, really basic t-shirt. I like it a lot, it's simple. And you know, I like the simple styles. This next shirt is a shirt that I got from PacSun. Um, it's another off the beige shirt when I want it to be a skater. Um, it's a size large. I got, you know what, as a matter of fact, I got this the same day I got that other shirt that I was talking about. But I like the way that this looks. I like, I mean, everything about it really. It's not, I'm not really too big a fan of the colors, not anymore, but I mean, I, this is this is a shirt that I don't mind wearing even with the color on it, you know? I have a pair of Vans in there that I don't really wear too much that perfectly match this shirt. And like their skate shoes, I mean, these these are what I usually wear with that and they, they match perfectly with this. So, um, even the tongue has like that, that, that teal trim to it and then the base of it is like gray and it just, it works. You know, this black side, it, it knots to this charcoal sleeve. So I like it a lot. Next shirt I got um, from Forever 21. It is a simple, um, I guess, pale pink or like salmon pink t-shirt. It's oversized, it's an oversized t-shirt in size large um, that I got from Forever 21. I mean, I like this shirt a lot, you know. So, I mean, that's there's that. I mean, not too much to say about that one. The next pair of jeans that I'm gonna be talking about is not really even a pair of jeans. They are joggers. My mom got these for me and they're really comfortable, so I still wear them from time to time. I don't like them, but I don't dislike them either. You know, they don't have a zipper uh, and they have a drawstring. So they're basically joggers, but just like with jean material, with denim material, whatever the case. Um, really cool idea, just poorly executed. Next pair of jeans is actually a little different than what I've been talking about. It is a light, a light blue pair of denim jeans, but it does have some distress in the knees and it looks warm because it has been worn. I wore this like two days ago. Um, it has like the little distress on the jeans and all that good stuff, or on the knees and all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, I just, I like them a lot, they're cool. So next shirt that I got, I got from Forever 21. I always thought I got this from ASOS, but no. Forever 21 um, is long line t-shirt with that little slit on the sides. Uh, I like it a lot. It's just, it's not a curve hem, but it does have a slit on the sides and it's really cool. And I wore this a lot skating too, but I still wear this to this very day. Only thing is that it has this tear. Next shirt that I'm gonna be pulling up is something I got again when I was like 13 years old and video games were my life. Got it from probably Ross. I'm gonna say Ross. And it's a t-shirt of a stick figure playing a video game and it says living the dream on it. So, and you can tell I've had it for a really long time because look at this, it's just, it's really worn. And, but I still wear that from time to time. Next jacket I'm gonna be pulling up is a jacket that my dad got me for Christmas. He got it from Macy's. It says American Rag. I guess that's the brand. Um, Yeah, I guess that's the brand. The brand. It's like a military jacket. It has like the little patches on it and stuff. The pockets are really cool. It just, it screams like Rosita. Do you know, I don't know if you guys watch The Walking Dead, but it screams Rosita. Like, I feel like this is something that she will wear. Um, it's got the little, I mean, it's just really an army jacket and it's really cool. Uh, I like it a lot. Like normally when, when I was younger anyway, my dad got me stuff for Christmas and stuff. Like if it was clothes, I didn't too much like it cause it just wasn't my style. And you know, millennials, our parents don't really know us. This next shirt I got is a tragedy that I, um, I let my mom get for me when I was 13 years old. It's a South Park shirt. And y'all look, they got bleach on it, girl. It's just screams ghetto. Uh, not much to say here. It was, you guessed it, from Ross and Marshalls and Tim Dam, TJ Maxx or whatever the fuck. I don't know where it came from. The next article of clothing I'm gonna be pulling up is a shirt that I got for Forever 21, which I still, I mean, honestly, this embodies my whole life. It is a shirt of pizza on it. Like, it speaks to my soul, this shirt. Oh my God, I love this shirt so much. It's just got pizza everywhere. It's a great shirt with pizza everywhere. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I got this for myself because like, bitch, you know, I love pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? And if you, if you say you don't like pizza, click off this video and don't come back. This next shirt is a shirt that I got from, um, can't remember, I'm drawing a blank, but if I think about it, I'll add it in post-production. Post but the shirt, the brand is called EPTM. Don't know what it stands for. It is another one of those shirts that I got when I thought I was a skater. 
It's a gray shirt, it's charcoal burnt gray, I guess you can say. Uh, it has a curved hem on the back and a little bit of a curve to the front. Long line t-shirt, uh, simple t-shirt. What is there to say about that, right? The next shirt that I have is a shirt that I got from Walmart. Simple classic black t-shirt. I got this shirt a while ago and I still like it. I mean, it's cool. It's a black t-shirt. What is there not to like? Next shirt, I'm getting down to the wire here. I have two other shirts. Yeah, two other things to show you after this next article of clothing, but this is an interesting story here. So basically, I got these joggers off ASOS. But as you can tell, where's, where the hell is the rest of it is the question. Like, there is no jogger. And they have bleach on them because I'm stupid. When I wash white clothes, I just don't, don't ask questions. Anyway, um, they were joggers at one point, believe it or not. They were joggers and they had the slits in the knees. My dumb ass is clumsy and I'm just, I take no time. I'm not careful at all when I'm walking. And I always walk and I snag my leg on like a knob or something and it gets right in the hole and it rips the hole open even bigger. And for a while I was like, whatever, I can deal with it, you know? Cause when I washed it, the hole was not very noticeable, right? But as it got bigger and bigger and bigger and I sort of looked like a bum, I was like, you know what? I'll just make these some damn hoe shorts. Cause I couldn't find any hoe shorts, some real hoe shorts before I, before I found my real horse, hoe shorts, I would wear these around the house. And um, they're terrible. It's a terrible cut, y'all. It is a terrible cut. But I mean, they make my butt look nice, so I wear these around the house from time to time. I hate them though. Like, well, I don't hate them, but I don't love them either. This next shirt is the one and only thing, aside from my Chelsea boots, that I've gotten from H&M. And it's actually probably one of my favorite shirts, honestly. It's a shirt, it's a khaki green knitted shirt that says the anti-hero's hero. And then below it has the definition of the anti-hero. Yeah, like, I mean, it's cool. <laughs> but I like this shirt a lot. It came from H&M, so I like it. It's really cool, you know. So the last shirt, what are the odds of this being the last shirt? It feels like such like promo and product placement. It really just feels like that, but I promise it's not. This is a shirt that I bought from a friend of mine named Craig. Now, this is a shirt that from his fashion line that he um, released. He actually has a clothing line, Craig for Cuba. His website will be in the description box below. His Instagram, all that good stuff will be linked in the description box below. This is a shirt that I got from him. It is a plain black t-shirt but it has the little, the lips, the, infant, the little famous lips and the teeth and the mouth and the tongue, whatever. And it uh, doesn't have anything on the inside, but all his information is down here. And it says, Craft for Cuba. It says, you're just wearing my imagination. And it has his website and the size large and all that stuff. He really did the damn thing with this shirt. I really, really, really like this shirt. Like, I really do. Yeah, y'all, check it out. Like, really, really check him out. What are the odds that this is the last thing? Like, do I have anything else? I don't know. Anyway, check him out, Craft for Cuba. I'm not getting paid to promo this. I promise I'm not getting paid to promo this, y'all. I just really like, I like, when I see something and it, it, he, you know, I, I, I see for myself how much work he puts into his clothing and to his brand. Like, I feel like that deserves free promo. Like, so yeah, check him out. Crab, if you're watching this, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing an amazing job and I'm always in your corner. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm out of breath, y'all, and I'm out of water. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comment section what you think I can do to improve on my videos or what you liked about the video. If you are new here, again, if you have not already, please don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button down below um, so you can join my YouTube family here on YouTube. I very much so appreciate you guys. And uh, if, you're, if you're a returning subscriber, again, if you have not, already please hit the notification bell down below so that you'll be notified anytime i post a video uh again that's gonna be it for this this video y'all um like share comment all that good stuff and until next time i'm out